Hi everyone, this is Angel in Munchie Land. Um, in case you're wondering why I have headphones and why this colorful background is happening behind me, the reason is because I work at night, most nights, teaching English online to children in China. And so the company I work with requires me to have the headphones and microphone so that they can hear me better and I don't really know how to undo it right now for the purpose of this. So. I decided to just keep it and that also explains the background because you have to have like a colorful background so that kids feel like they're in school. So anyways, I'm here today because I wanted to unbox my Imperfect Produce box. This is it, Imperfect Produce. And so what it is, is every, you can sign up for you know, different periods of time. I get it every two weeks and um, they send you a list of what they have available, which is, um, a lot of local fruits and vegetables that are either surplus from farms or they were, like, bumpy or something so they couldn't get sold in stores, maybe, like, misshapen things. And so you get to pick from that list of what you want. And so your cost is a little bit different every week depending on what you want. Mine is usually around $20 every two weeks. And for that, you get a whole box of fruits and vegetables, which to me, it is really helpful because I am on a very fixed income. And so when I go to the grocery store, I kind of get panicky looking at all the vegetables and um, maybe I'll like buy bananas or something, but I don't like know, I don't want to spend a lot of money. And so this way, my fruits and vegetables are just always coming to me and they're less expensive than what they would be in the store. And it inspires me to eat more fruits and vegetables, which is good because if you know me, you know I eat a lot of munchies or junk food. So um, let me introduce you to my imperfect produce box for this week. So let's see. What have we got here? All right. So my first item, I've got cherry tomatoes. I try to order cherry tomatoes every week if they have them, and it's it's actually these are grape tomatoes, but um, sometimes it's cherry. It's, it's a different brand every time, but you can specify whether you want to order the organic kind or the uh, conventional kind, and I usually get organic, so it's usually different brands. Um, I'm about to have a technical difficulty. Hi, this is my technical difficulty. Her name is Yoshi. Yoshi likes boxes, so that's why she's up here. Alright, cherry tomatoes, yay! Alright, next I got ooh, pomegranates. I had my first pomegranate like uh, last month at my brother's house, and it was really good. So I ordered, when I saw pomegranates on the list, I ordered them. Um, although, like, they're. I don't know. They're kind of a waste of food, though, because you're just eating the seeds. So it's a lot of work just to eat the seeds. But they're good. They're kind of sour, but I like them. Uh, the next thing I have is I always get a lot of apples. These are gala apples. I always get lots of apples, which is good because uh, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So it's good to have those on hand. Uh, another apple. More apples. Um, what's this? This is something. I don't know what this is exactly. I think it. Hmm. This could be another pomegranate. No, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a red pear. I don't remember ordering red pears, but this is a red pear. So sometimes I'll get something new that I can try. And I will be excited to try a red pear, not to be confused with a red apple. I've got some grapefruits, which I will probably give to my aunt, at least one or two of them, because I don't know that I like their grapefruits that much, because they're rather sour. Another grapefruit. So sometimes they're a little bumpy or whatever, or like bruised, but you could still eat them. Uh, what else? Um, 
It's another red pear. Red pear. I'll put that red pear over here. Uh, more red pears. I really hope I like red pears. You can see this one looks more like a pear. Like a pear, but it's red. I'll have to Google like when is the best time to eat these because it's rather solid. So I don't know, like regular pears, they're supposed to be soft, but maybe for red pears, they're supposed to be more soft. I don't know. Um, uh, I don't really know what this is. I'm guessing it's a turnip. I usually give the turnips to my uncle because he will cook with them, isn't it? I don't know. See, that's how I am. I don't know that much about vegetables. I don't. I can't even recognize. I can't even name this thing. So I know that makes me a little dumb. But I do know what this is. Kind of know what this is. I forget what it. Oh yeah. So it's a pomelo. I did order this, but I've never tried it before. Um, this is a pomelo, and it's supposed to taste a little bit like grapefruit, but less bitter. And so I ordered one to try, because I like to try new fruits and vegetables. It's always good to try new things. Let me that over there. Okay. So. Uh, okay. I do not know what this is either. I think it might be a beet. So like, I don't know, maybe maybe this is a turnip and this is a beet, or maybe this is a beet and this is a turnip. I don't know. I just know that both of those things are things that I don't ordinarily eat, when I, but I sometimes order them on my list, on my Imperfect Produce box for my uncle, because he will cook with them. He's a pretty good cook. Yeah. Here's another one of those things. This one looks very curious. What the heck is this? I am your friend. Ha ha ha. Okay, we'll find that out later. And we got some sweet potatoes. Now, I personally don't like sweet potatoes. Um, they make me gag a little bit, but my dog loves them. So what I do is I chop these up into tiny little pieces. And I give them to my dog, Lily, as treats. And it's kind of a healthier treat than her usual, like, store-bought treats. It's good for her, and it helps her digestion. This is the onion. Recognize that. Hey, is it an onion? It is. Ogres are like onions. They have layers. Here's another... Curiously shaped onion. I hope this is an onion. Otherwise, I'm going to chop it up and eat it like an onion, and I'm going to be surprised. But I don't know what it is. And then, oh wow, I got a ton of carrots. And then sometimes I give these to my dog, and sometimes I eat them. I share. We share. Sometimes I make a snowman out of them. If it's snow here, I go outside and I put it. I am a snowman. <laughs> I'm a snowman. Wait, let's see. Alright, so, yeah. Carrots. I'm yeah, getting a big pile up on my table here. And finally, I ordered... Here's another carrot. Lime. So I got some little limes here. And I was thinking that I might, since I've got just enough limes, What's the best thing to do with lime? Make a key lime pie. So I don't think these are actual key limes. I think they're ordinary limes, but you can still make a key lime pie. And I'm wondering if I should try to make a vegan key lime pie, if that's even possible. I mean, I can make a regular, regular lime pie anytime. So it might be worth it to make a vegan key lime pie and try and see it. Would you guys like to see that? Alright, so that is my imperfect produce box. Now I have to put all that stuff back into the box so that I can get back at my table. 
but I just wanted to show you. Yep, oh, sorry, I'm gonna disappear for a second. And so I'm going to link to Imperfect Produce in the description of this video or in the blog entry or somewhere. And so um, you guys can, if you're interested in signing up for it or if you want to find out more information, I do have a referral link. And if you use it, you'll get a free, I think, depending on what they have going on right now, you might get either a free box or a $10 off box, and then I'll also get the same discount. So, um, and so that's, I love to eat all these vegetables and fruits. All right, so that's my whole video. And now I'm just going to push, stop, oh, now I'm going to post this. So, thanks for visiting Angel and Munchie Land. Goodbye.